Hey everybody, welcome to the D. Louise book series. I'm Christina Kayaras, T-I-N-A. This is where we read book, talk about books. No special effects going on here. No theme music. No special anything here. Just reading book, talk books. As you know, I'm a serious person. I like to read series, go read character progression from book to book to book. Um, Please check out Flashback Mondays. I take a lot, a lot of time working on that. And also Star Trek Fridays. Next Generation, again, it's a series. We have uh, a story solved each each episode, but the characters continue to grow throughout the episodes, throughout the seasons. So I've got a new author for me, and I was doing really well with it until the end. And I, I just, I do not know if I will continue this or not. I do not know. Um, it started off slowly. Oh, it's the Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn. And it started out slowly. One of those walk in the park type situations. And, um, but I was going to put it down because it was just getting on my nerves. But I decided to continue, give it another couple of chapters. And it really, I, it pulled me in and it kept my attention. Don't step on my computer, please. Please don't step on my computer. I have a tendency to get logged off. So um, she uh, talks a little bit. Reminds me maybe of a fast-talking actress. Um, she has that Sherlock Holmes type of feeling to her, Miss uh, Veronica. And uh, the she, it bothered me also that her main character, although that wasn't his, it wasn't his, his real name was later really re- revealed, and we will talk about that later. But um, his, her, it's so confusing. All right, so we first start off with her living with two supposed aunts. Apparently that they weren't her aunts, they were somebody else. And they had traveled around the world. And uh, she enjoyed a nice childhood with them. She did not have a loving relationship with them. So when they passed on, she decided to move on. Um, in the midst of passing on, uh, a baron approaches her and says, hey, look, your life is in danger. You need to get going. Um, so they go back to her cottage to get her bag. And then meanwhile, someone is rummaging through their, is through the cottage. So they're like, you know, take what you want. Get out. I don't care. I'm taking my stuff and I'm leaving. So she leaves. And she leaves with the baron. And uh, they spend... 24 hours or so together, and he doesn't really tell her much. And he drops her off at his, remind me not to wear the shirt, uh, friend's house. And this is what I was referencing before. His, not his real name, and we will get to his real name later. But apparently the guy's pseudonym, summit, summonym, whatever you want to call it, plum, num de plume, whatever you want to call it, uh, is Stoker. And I'm sorry, every single time I read the word Stoker, I thought of Bram Stoker, and I thought of Dracula. And then I thought of Frankenstein. I know that's Mary Shelley. But I thought of, because uh, Mr. Stoker here is a taxidermist. And he's putting together animals. And sewing together animals. So, that, it just, it just, it just. Whenever I am unable to, I want you to fill in what it is because I just don't know what you say, I will go, it's just. And you put any word you want at the end of that. Oh, and before I forget, and I know I forgot, please hit the like and subscribe. And I've got this fantasy going. I have a Christmas miracle wish. If I don't get my tax return, I never got it. But anyway, it's a long story. Um, I would like a thousand likes. It would be most appreciated to get a Christmas miracle and maybe my tax refund. 
the IRS laughed at. Can you believe they laughed at? But anyway, <laughs> seriously, seriously, can't make this stuff up. Um, so it just, I kept thinking he was Bram Stoker the whole time. I just thought he was Bram Stoker. So, um, so like I said, her, her guardians die and then she goes and have a little meal with the vicar and his wife and they decide that she should be married. She shouldn't stay single. And she's like, no, 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 I'm leaving town. Excuse me. Um, she leaves town with the Baron, and the Baron says that he knew her mother and that she looks a lot like um, her mom. And unfortunately, like I said previously, the Baron didn't reveal additional details. I guess they feel that was left for the end. Um, so then uh, Stoker says that um, his patron is the Earl of Rosamoran, and he's doing the elephant, the taxidermy stuff. And they spend a couple days together. And um, she even has all these suggestions about him. Um, why doesn't he do a, a expedition and get subscribers to get money? And they'll, you can you find new species and name the species after them. They'll give you money. So they go on through that. Then um, uh, they find out from uh, a man... Uh, that they're on their trip uh, to London, and another man tries to accost her, and his name is Edward de Clare, and he knows stuff too, but she gets away from him, and she goes back with uh, the Baron back to London. Um, while she's in London with uh, Stroker, uh, they hear news that the Baron has been murdered, and that uh, Stoker is wanted for questioning about the murder. Now, they can supply the fact that they were both, Veronica and Stoker were together, but if they were to reveal that they were together and they were unmarried, that would lead to scandal stuff. And at this point, I mean, she wants to go to the police, but then he brings this up and she's like, oh yeah, you're right. But then they go on the run and they pretend to be man and wife on the run, so what the F? Um, so the... And then they, I, they went on a, met up with some gypsies, gypsies in a caravan, and I really didn't like this part. Um, he goes in as the the knife thrower guy, and she's got to stand there, and he accidentally hits her because one of his eyes is bad. I just, I felt like it was filler. It just didn't keep me amused, and I was starting to flip pages. Um, it turns out there was a secret uh, Bow Street runner. A part of the caravan so he discovered information and then they uh, still investigating on their own some other people tried to in cap cap kidnap um then she meets then on the run they go and the guy that was doing the elephant paying for the elephant work um they go and stay at his house out in the country and um there's they talk about the murder, and they try to discuss it and narrow down the clues and all this kind of stuff. And um, it occurs to them that uh, they need to go search the Baron's house. They find a packet of letters. They find proof of who her mother was. They also find um, she'd had a key. Veronica had had a key that her nurse, that uh, one of her caretakers had given her. And told her never to lose. Um, it took her a while, but she finally figured it out what it was for. It was for a safety deposit box. The safety deposit box contains all the clues to her past that she will ever need, all the proof that she will ever need. And then they decide to put on a little performance for their pursuers and burn the documents that prove her complete identity, and everybody agrees to leave her alone. And then it's revealed at the end that, a um, little spoiler here, that uh, Stoker did not, when he gave her the packet of documents to burn, he did not give her a packet of original documents. He gave her a package of fake documents. Um, the murder is left unsolved, and I was left with 
without um, uh, satisfaction, I guess is the word I want to say. I, I wanted uh, her biological father to be confronted. I, I wanted resolution. We did not get resolution. I just, I just, I'm sorry to do that again, but I don't know if I will be reading another book by this author. I do have, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Um, I do have the next few books um, because I was planning on doing a binge read of the series. Um, and I'm not sure now if I will do a binge read of the series. Um, I may go back to my J.P. Beaumont. Um, if you check out, I've been doing those. I'm up to book 12, I believe. And uh, maybe for this, I'm going to get going with Janet, I think. I think I'm going to get going with some Janet. Make myself feel better. I just didn't get the resolution that I wanted from this. So I'm not sure. I, it was... <laughs> you are funny. You are just a ham, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, I'm just not sure. Because the ending... I mean, I was tolerating it through the whole book. And the ending just fell very flat for me. Um, I wanted more of a an ending. A more of a crescendo... I wanted the the gentleman confronted. I wanted River. I it just I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it. I I wanted X Y Z from the ending, and I didn't get it. And I wanted it, and I was very disappointed. So I do not know if I will go on. I have another series. I'm going to give a try. A Carol and Hart series. Maybe I'll do that. But then we're definitely going to go on to, what are you doing? On to Janet. I'm just over it. It just, I was just, I was just disappointed. I didn't get the climatic when the evidence was produced and the actual real story was revealed and then it was dropped. You are adorable. You know that you are adorable. I have tried to show people the floor here, and my camera doesn't do it. So I'm not even going to try. She's just rolling around all over the place, looking all nice and cute. But anyways, um, so check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Curious beginning. Sorry about the glare. Deanna R. Rayborn. Deanna Rayborn. And... If you notice, every time I do a video, the clock goes up, and it doesn't tell time at all. It's never worked. It's been 20 years. It still goes up. Apparently, only when I do videos. So anyways, please check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, you want to say hi? There she is. There's the star. Have my smoke. Have a good one.